<laughs> oh, what do you have in your hair, Sophia? What do you have in your hair? Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Mods. And if you've watched any of our former videos, you will have seen that the kids have found some Sphinx moth caterpillars in the backyard and have been raising them on their own. And, uh, and we've been raising them inside. And today we got our first banded Sphinx to emerge. I can't wait to show the kids and get their reaction to see what they did. And, and we're gonna go release it. So uh, guys, if you, you know, give me a thumbs up. Um, we're all about educating kids on science and nature and seeing some of the amazing natural beauties like this guy, this banded Sphinx. And, um, and really guys, we wanna get them off of their electronic devices and you know, try and get them outside, looking at stuff and experiencing nature, nature in a different way where they can learn about it and appreciate it. So uh, guys, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I can't wait to show them their new little buddy, the banded Sphinx Moth. Check the video out. It's a gorgeous moth. And the reason they call it the banded Sphinx. Okay, Sovi. Oh, that's really cool. Sovi, isn't he pretty? Yeah. All right, guys, so we, I just came into the Florida room here and looked in the container and one of our banded Sphinx moths has emerged. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip over to the other view on my phone camera and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and stay tuned for this. All right, so this is the banded Sphinx, Eumorpha fasciata. Um, it's a beautiful big Sphinx moth and you can see the way we had this once they make their pupa in the dirt and they make their chrysalis and the chrysalis are fully formed like this. Uh, basically what we do is we take them out, put them in a container that has paper towel on the bottom and a paper towel ramp up the side of the container because whenever, and this, that's the pupa shell that it came out of right there guys. You can see these two are still, still have uh, the moth inside and this guy right here just emerged. And so, uh, as you can see, a moth or butterfly always wants to crawl up and hang in order to properly stretch out its wings and pump blood and fluids into its wings so that it would be properly formed once it emerges from its chrysalis. And so what's proper to do is make sure that you have plenty of paper towel on the bottom Paper towel acts like a, uh, there's plenty of little fibers so their little hook feet can grab onto it and it can pull themselves out of the crystal shell. And then what they'll do is they'll walk right up the top of the uh, paper towel wall. And then I always put a paper towel on the top inside the lid so that there's something for them to hang from. Because if, if it's just this plastic, they probably can't grip that very well. So we wanna make it as easy for them as possible to avoid deformity. And so you can see this guy, let's see if I can get in nice and close here. That's the underside of this moth. It looks like it's a male, I think it's a male. And they'll typically hang just from their front forelegs, guys. Uh, he's hanging just like that and drying his wings, but you can see how they've got that fighter jet sort of look to them. I love these, I love Sphinx moths, guys. They're, they're so much fun to raise. And what I'm gonna do is before I call the kids in, I'm gonna try and see if I can get a, a couple shots of this guy. Here, okay, now. All right, folks, that's better. Now that I have my flash on, I'll be able to show you some better images, better quality images of this little banded Sphinx. And so it's a gorgeous moth. And the reason they call it the banded Sphinx, obviously it's got those big bands and we'll show you the hind wing if we can here later. Um, the hind wing has got this bright pink and like cool green coloration on it too. 
And I just love Sphinx Maws, big, powerful, strong bodies for flying. They fly really fast and uh, they'll, they'll kind of sit here all day long until it gets dark out. Um, and you know, it's, it's late evening, it's late afternoon, probably like 6.30 right now in the afternoon. And probably in another hour, they're gonna start getting really active um, as the sun starts going down. So guys, I'm going to call my kids in here and show them this moth. Hold on one second. Guys, your moth came out. You wanna see it? Really? Yeah, you wanna see it? Yeah. Here, let's see. Let me get them in. Which one came out? Which one came out? Yeah. Well, let's see. You tell me. I can't see it. All right, which one is it? Right there. Mm. That one. So, you know, let me see if I can get a, you, so you can see his colors. What do you think? Oh, wow. Lorenzo, what do you think, man? He's cool. Is that what you thought he looked like? Yeah. No. Yeah? You knew what he looked like? Mm -hmm. Really? We, we hunted for them before. Oh, yeah, we did. Sophie, what do you think, honey? Is that is that what you thought he looked like? No. No? Mm -mm. What do you think he was going to look like? Colorful. Colorful. It well, is. He is kind of colorful. More like colorful. All right, Sophia, do you, you want to pick up your moth? Yeah. We'll just call it Sophie's what? for now. Because mine excels more. All right, hold on. Now, well, here's what you're going to do. No, it's actually probably mine because mine was a... Actually, it's probably kind of, it probably is mine because mine yeah. was the it's biggest. It's poppies, you guys. All right, now, Sophie, what you're going to do is you're going to put your finger right in front of its legs and let let it try and crawl up on your finger there uh -oh. okay. here go ahead go down there. go down there what's that yellow stuff that's, pee. Mar that's marconium that's kind, pee. kind of like afterbirth it's not pee they metabolize while they're inside their their pupa the pee? Oh, you can see the cool coloration inside the pink and green colors on the inside of the underside of the or the hind wing look at that See if he'll crawl. Put you got to put your finger in front of him, honey. So he's like breaking his legs. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on roll it up. Roll it. Roll it underneath. Runs it. Let her be. Okay. Now. Excellent. Curious. You like that? Ah. Oh yeah. See, guys, he's got really cool. He's blind. No, he's not. Why? Is stay he... still. Stay still. What See, he's he got mean? really beautiful <laughs> oh, pink undersides of his uh, hind wings, guys. Me, they look like, like logs. Here, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Oh, that's really cool. Sophie, isn't he pretty? Yeah. You like him? Cool be pretty. Let me see if I can get a, a snap. Oh, stay still. Stay still. What are you doing? <laughs> If he's, he's going to fly up and jump my face. No, he's not going to fly and jump your face. All right, so Lorenzo, somebody asked about the marconium. Guys, this is marconium. Whenever a butterfly or moth emerges from its chrysalis, while it's inside the chrysalis, it's still metabolizing food it stores up. So and, it's and basically, it's pretty much poop. Liquid poop. Liquid poop. Like diarrhea. Yeah. Well, sort of. But, yeah. So this guy's really pretty chill. What do you think? Do you think he's pretty? I do. Do you? Will you stop? Oh. Will you stop? Okay. Well, uh, He's kind of creepy. He's creepy? What do you mean creepy? Look at those eyes. Like staring Let me see. Eyes. Let me see those compound eyes. All right. Yes. They stay. I'm sorry. Owie. Lorenzo. Don't touch my booboo. Look at those compound eyes, guys. He sees thousands of little pictures. He sees thousands of Sophia's. I only get to see one. He sees thousands of Sophia's. What do you think? I think that he's a little creepy dude, but yeah. he's nice. He's nice? Okay. Yeah. He's mine's, nice. Creepy. Mine's gonna be beautiful. I I guarantee yours looks exactly like this one. Because <laughs> even though there's three different color forms of the caterpillar, they, the adults all look the same. They have wow. the same exact colors. Pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah? All right, what are your thoughts? Like, what do you think he's doing here? I think that he's trying to get used to the new environment. Do you think he can fly? He can fly, right? The new environment, and he he's trying fly. to trying to get used to his wings. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why Why isn't he flying right now? I would be flying as fast as I can. Well, when when do most moths fly? Outside. 
When? Do what part of the day? Night. At night time, right? Is it night time? Uh, is it night time? Yeah, we do it at night time. No. No. So why do you think he's chilling? I'll still be flying. He's, he's be sleeping. Flying. Well, I don't know if it's actual sleep. He's in a chamber. Well, he's he's just he's just chilling, man. <laughs> he's just chilling because moths get active at night. All right, Lorenzo, why don't you try and pick him up for a minute? Oh, ah. oh boy. Vizu, oh don't... boy. Oh, just let him crawl up don't onto you. Don't damage Poppy's moth. Well, that's not. We're gonna let him go in a minute. So, all right, look at those cool, pretty hind wings, guys. They're gorgeous, man. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Lorenzo, what are your thoughts? Don't 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 push down. He's gonna. He's gonna get all whacked out. So we're gonna walk him outside. And then you come out. It's gonna fly on me. <laughs> Hi. Okay, there. Okay, all right. Stop it. Easy, guys. Easy. All right, you're starting to annoy Look, him. Look, he has daddy long legs. Here, let, let me see. Let me see those pretty colors that he has. Just like that. He's like blue, black, and blue. Okay, that's our thumbnail right there, blue, guys. Blue, black, and pink. That is our thumbnail right Look, there. Let's see. No. All right, Sophia. Here, why don't we do this? Ah! What here. the heck? What are you using? See, look how they look how they hang from just two legs. Isn't that cool? Yes. Cool. Stop it! You're gonna have a break him. Here, watch this. Trying to help him. Here, watch this. He's grabbing onto me. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Crawling my eye. He's not gonna crawl in your eye. Just relax. Just crawl. you gotta stay still. Stay still. So you're shaking. Stay still. Do it. Stay still. Breathe, breathe. Oh. oh, what do you have in your hair, Sophia? What do you have in your hair? Um, it's, is it in my hair? It's in your hair. Yeah, he's in your hair. Okay. What? Don't touch him. See, now he's, he's getting ready to fly. Training. When they do this, guys, what he's doing is he's warming up his thoracic muscles and he's getting ready to fly. <laughs> and so it's just like, just like when you rev, you know, start your car engine, it's not ready to go right away a lot of times, especially if you live where it's cold. Well, moths are not warm blooded, they're cold blooded, and they need to <gasps> warm up it. the jets a little bit. Ew, ew, I hear it. <laughs> you hear it buzzing? Oh, ew. He stopped. He stopped. He stopped. I don't All know right. why, but like this is so creepy to me. Like caterpillars are okay. Put your hand down, honey. Do you guys hear it though? It's so weird. That might be the thumbnail. Moth lands on my daughter's hair. Not really, we put it there. All right. Sophie, you want to let him go? Yeah, let's see if he'll stand me. Well, he's really starting to get a little jiggy. All right, let's walk outside. Oh, okay. Just get up. Get up and start walking. I felt him on my back. He's on your back. He's on your shoulder. No, like, like, like. He's on your shoulder. He's on your shoulder. I feel, I feel it. I feel like he's in my ear. He's not in your ear. Oh, well, he actually almost kind of is. He's actually on your hair. He's right there. Oh. Here, let's, let's go over there. Let's not. Where? Okay, ready? All right. Sophia, here, let's... Let's go more to the water. Let's go to the, by the water. That's where his habitat is. Come here. We are going to see if we can get him to fly now that he's close to the water and by his habitat. And, guys, the banded sphinx, this is his host plant right here, guys. Here's the Ludwigia. The, uh, this might be the plant we found him on. This is the plant we found him on. So this is the Ludwigia, the uh, primrose the plant that we found him on and we are going to is it, let is he? him go. He's right here by your shoulder. Let me see if I can grit. Let's oh, what see. the here. heck? Ready? Stay still. Stay still. <laughs> Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Here he goes. You got no choice. <gasps> okay, put your hands down slowly. Put your hands down slowly. Put your hands down slowly. I see Smile. it. Smile. Smile. Back up, Poppy. It's so close. Okay. Sovi. Oh my gosh. Do you like him? 
He's gonna fly in my nose. He's not gonna fly in your nose. He's not gonna fly in your nose. Do you want me to let him go? Yeah, let him go. All right. I wanna do it. You wanna do it? All right. He don't wanna fly. No, that, that that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's uh. Tap his butt. Tap his butt until he goes. Go. Yeah, ready? Let's see. Let's, let's not put him on it. Here, why don't we put him on the tree? That way we can easily find him. And so he doesn't get eaten by bats. Well, not in the spider's web, honey. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want him to fall in the water. You just put him on the trunk. <laughs> okay, here. Here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to put him right here on this bark. Because look, look how he kind of blends in now. That is where he may sit during the day on his own and that's our banded sphinx guys so um yeah we're just gonna let him sit here until nighttime, and then he'll just split on his own when he's ready uh but he's definitely not ready to fly on his own right now so this is our first little banded sphinx it, it emerged and we are releasing it here on the tree it seems very lethargic it's probably because it's still super bright. Shelby, what are you doing? We're trying to do our outro. <laughs> My kids are goofballs. I uh, hope you like the video, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Give, give, uh, excuse me. Huh? What are you doing with that? You put your Yeah, in give me a thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like tropical sphinx moths in your backyard, uh, I certainly do. Uh, Comment down below what it you want us to hunt for next down here in South Florida. This one's a cool backyard bug, so it's pretty easy. So, uh, guys, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, until next time, let's get out there and enjoy South, South Florida, Florida. And let's enjoy our little tropical beauties in our backyard. Sphinx moths. Sphinx moths. Take care, guys.